Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and if there's something you guys want me to react to, please suggest it down below. That will motivate me to keep on doing reactions each and every day. I'm posting them every day. And yeah, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Please keep subscribing, keep liking, keep sharing, keep uh, engaging with our content. And I will really, really appreciate. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. Head there, say hi. We'll say hi back. You can find us on YouTube again, second YouTube channel called Funny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe, and enjoy the content that we actually put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Amit Didat responds strongly to a disrespectful to a disrespectful question. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Question in very short. In the Old Testament, we was taught that eye by eye teeth by teeth, revenge, etc., etc. We grew up, Jesus came, he taught us all of these things, if you might know, and I'm quite sure you know. But let me inter you know, interrupt this sisters and, and ask you one question before. You said that you believe in God. This God has character. He knows the future, he knows the past, he knows the presence, he doesn't change his mind. Do you agree? I go on. Jesus came, and I'm quite sure that what I'm saying here, you find in any of these books, and you might find it in Quran too. Jesus came and taught us, if one slapped you on the right cheek, give him the left one. Sympathy, mercy, no violence, love, shalik. He taught us, if one asks you to go a mile with him, go too. If he asks you your coat, give him your dress. When he asked his uh, disciples, Larryinger, to go and preach in the world, he told them, go and preach my word in peace, no violence. If they accept your word, take it. If they don't take it, go and go on. Why after five, no, sorry, 600 years, the God whom you believe, and I do, how he changed his mind again? He tells me, the one who hits you, hit him again. Go and preach in my name. And if they don't accept my name and my word, kill them. If your wife missed, if your wife does it unfaithful to you, kill her. Kill, punish, kill, punish, hate, hate, hate. Thank you, sir. He raised me up. Question. Why you take me very much down again? Sir, your question is clear. Thank you. Silence, please. Thank you. Well, here's some more hot steam. The brother said, Islam says, the teaching of Jesus was turning the other cheek. If a man takes away your coat, give him your cloak also. Agree with thine adversary quickly, Jesus said, before they take you before the magistrate and make you to pass with your last farthing. But now you said God doesn't change his mind. But he had given you a law, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. You are a Christian today. From your question, I make out you are a Christian. Right. But now God changed his mind. Didn't he change his mind? First was eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Now he's telling him, you resist not evil. When a man hits you on the right cheek, give him the other. He changed his mind. He changed his mind according to your Bible. Wait a minute. And then again, he told you, God told you, that whosoever puts away his wife, let him give her a bill of divorcement. But Jesus said, but I say unto you, whosoever puts away his wife, save for the cause of fornication, causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever marries her that is divorced, committed adultery. He changed his mind again. And he's changing his mind continuously. But you said God doesn't change his mind. Now, you will have to account, or the pastor will have to account for that, not me. When you say, make allegation against the Quran, the Quran says that if anybody does not accept Islam, chop off his head, kill him. Here is the Quran, and you have up to 10 o'clock to find that verse and show it to us. I'll read it for the people.
Thank you, Mr. Dibab. Very interesting. Um, now this gets tricky because we're living in a very, very different time. So then, how do we take what um Jesus came to say, came to preach? Because nowadays, I don't think anyone wants to stand around and get hit. You're bound to defend yourself, you know. At some point, you just get tired of someone pushing you over. You're bound to defend yourself. How do we deal with such a situation where someone slaps you? How then do you deal with a cheating partner? Do you beat them? Do you stone them to death? What actually happens in such a situation? Are people willing to go by these rules and laws or preachings rather? Or are they saying times have actually changed and were evolving with the times? Where if someone cheats, you, just, you can just simply say, you know what? I don't think this is for me. Let's divorce. Of course, divorce is not that simple, but you can discuss. You can have those discussions. Others are saying, if you slap me, I'll slap you back. It's only fair. And others will say, you know what? Even if you hit me, I don't have to, but I, I don't think anything here can exist so we've got all these choices that we're faced with now you can go to the police you can say all sorts of things then what next because um I don't, I don't even think the question was disrespectful so i feel like the title is reaching so um people just want to learn i guess he wanted to learn that's why he asked and also maybe his english was limited that's why he sounded the way he sounded but i think these are things that you should we should be talking about what's the way forward if the teachings are saying this i don't want to have my wife my husband because of uh, cheating what other way can i take care of such a situation you know are your thoughts guys what do you have to say and i keep on saying i don't know in all my videos what do you have to say guys what are your thoughts on the question raised by this guy and how do you feel about the response from amid did that otherwise this was a very very interesting video for me to watch like i said please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to if there's something you want me to react to just get the name or the link and just post it in the comment section below and i'll be more than glad to actually react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video